All right, well, this is take two. I got too excited on the last one, went too over, and YouTube won't let me publish it. So I got to keep this short. So, again, Selmer Mark VI tenor saxophone, serial number 66,000. I've had quite a few Mark VI's come through my hands, but this is definitely the earliest one I've seen in the Mark VI world. And in just crazy, crazy nice shape. Um, at one time, um, back in the 70s and 80s, you put your horn in for an overhaul, they immediately stripped it all down, took all the keys off, took all the pads up, and relacquered the horn. So that's what happened to this one they sent in for an overhaul. Uh, the good thing is they didn't let some Yehu do it, and it went right back to the Selmer factory, which is the only way to get a great, great job. And I'm not sure if you can see, but all the little fine etching engraving is still there. All this stuff is usually gone. I mean, it's obliterated by somebody, some guy sitting on the buffing wheel too long with it. So I imagine this was probably hand done. But um, try to get a close up on the engraving. It's just very, see down in here? It's just all that fine engraving still there, which is almost near impossible to do uh, with a relacquer. Color's perfect. Not too gold, not too bright. Um, it looks like a vintage horn still. So they put a nice gold emulsion in the lacquer. Um, again, this is like 1958. So um, this thing's been played. But again, I usually look down and see all bumps and ripples and everything. And this one's very, very straight. Little lacquer here since it's been relacquered. Uh, and a little lacquerware on the side keys here. And there's a little lacquerware right here on the, uh, right by the octave key for some reason. And not sure exactly why right there. Um, but hardly even noticeable. And maybe a little on the octave key, uh, just the normal places where you where you touch it. So um, pads are pla big plastic resonators, uh, pretty good size. So um, probably 80% of the tone holes resonators. So instead of the little tiny ones. So the big thing is the B flat just pops out of there, and again it just hits that back wall. Uh, it just jumps out. So, on my personal horn, the top end doesn't sound very good of me playing it. It sounds kind of anemic, and on this one, it just screams out of it. pianissimo thing all the way up to the blastissimo. So I'm um, going to do this real quick. I'm trying to make it shorter this time so uh, so YouTube won't uh, scream at me. We'll just do one chorus. <laughs> extra for more. So anyhow. 
So, wonderful saxophone, best brand in the world, best serial number. Um, you can get not the best, but one of the best uh, serial numbers you can get, best vintage. Um, if this was original lacquer, we'd be talking well over 10K. I'd see these going 10, 12K um, for a nice original lacquer one, which is pretty rare um, after 56 years or so. So, um, this is the next best, is a very nicely relacquered one. Um, repadded and and wonderful playing um and it'll impress everybody you know you can say first thing i ever ask you what are you playing man you go oh, i'm playing a summer and they go what's the serial number oh, 66 and they'll go Pugh. you know where did you find that thing well we got it from www.stevegraysaxes.com and um, that's where it came from so if you need any more info i'll put up a million pictures of it um again www.stevegray saxes plural Dot com. So anyhow, um, still got a little time, so... <laughs> I mean, I'm crazy bad at the uh, altissimo, and that F-sharp just pops right out. Um, it's actually detrimental, according to big guys, to have the F-sharp. So, who needs it? Um, the side key mechanism is the old style, which to me is quite a bit better hole with a post going through it, as opposed to that ball bearing style they use. It just goes clickety-clack, everybody comes over. Got to put some uh, STP down there to tighten it up for the studio, and a couple months later it's starting to whack and click again. Um, case is a newer style wooden case. Um, very substantial case, made in USA. So, um, oh, I have a million options for cases, but cases in very nice shape. Actually, a fairly new case, just your generic wood case. Um, the original case is usually just this came in, I think, in the brown zipper case, and the zippers all went out on them, so pain in the butt. So, um, nicer case uh, included with it. So, um, matching. Matching serial number neck, 62,000 on the neck also. So a neck has never been whacked, um, never been bent down, um, which is again, rear, every other Mark VI I see, somebody's whacked it here or bent it down or destroyed it somehow. And neck is in just absolutely beautiful condition. And again, original matching ser uh, serial number. <laughs> Okay, kept it under 10 minutes, so I'm signing off. There she is. Just in the monstrous glory. Look at the uh, engraving. It's just crazy nice. Bell's in great shape. Bottom bow's in great shape. Sides of the body, a little lacquer wear, no big deal. Just some honest wear, I call it. And again, the neck's in great shape. Okay, got to sign off.